Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be taking a look at HitFilm Express 15. Just released about a week or so ago, and I wanted to go over some of the key features, some of the new features that they've added with HitFilm Express 15. Now, keep in mind that some of these do, um, they, they are shared with some of the new features that we just did on a previous video of HitFilm Pro 15. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that out. Before we jump into this, I want to take a few little seconds to remind everybody to hit that subscribe button. We are so very close to be hitting that thousand subscriber mark. I know it's not very big in the grand scheme of things, but here at Misfit Studios, we are really, really excited to hit that goal that we have set in front of us. So if you guys get hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you guys don't miss out on any other future hit Misfit Studios content. And let's go ahead and jump into it. So first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to be going and taking a look at some of the features here. Some of them are, you know, just like in the HitFilm Pro video, some of them are kind of small, some of them are a little larger. So the first thing that I want to cover is the mask shapes. Um, this is actually just the exact same with um, HitFilm Pro. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a composite shot because they're just a little easier to... Um, edit manipulate within a composite you can do it in your timeline as well just like you could previously but let's go ahead and put in a plane whatever color is fine we're going to do white and we're going to go up here to the mask tool if you click that it's actually defaults to a rectangular mask if you drag and it'll be just a simple rectangular mask or what you can do is you can hover your mouse over the top of the rectangular mask tool hold left click and you'll get a drop-down menu of the different shapes of masks. I'm not going to go through all of these shapes. They're pretty self-explanatory. Pick a shape. You can drag and create that shape. You can then go into your controls, click the uh, transform, and then you can actually go and animate the path, all of the individual nodes, go to the uh, freehand mask tool, and you can drag and drop any of these just like you would with a regular mask. They've just added some shapes in, and so you can go ahead and play with that and you know, get some really interesting different shapes. All right, so since we're already in a comp shot, you can actually do this on your um, editor timeline as well. We're actually going to go back to our composite shot. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our text tool. We're going to click anywhere on the screen. We're going to add in a text layer, and we're going to just put in some text here. We're going to control A. That way everything is highlighted. We can run the uh, scale up. That way everybody can see it. So, um... While we're in here, let's go ahead and make sure that everything is highlighted once again. And if you notice here, there is actually a little plus sign here that's got outline. They've actually added some um, some outlines that you can do on the fly. If you go ahead and click that outline, it will add a add an outline around your text so you don't have to do it manually. And there's actually two or th there's actually three different types of outlines that you can perform. There's an overfill, which is actually going to be a default. The underfill, which is um, it actually filling the inside of the text. If we scroll in there, you can see that the, uh, the outline of the text is on the outside of the white. If you do the underfill option, it is going to be on the inside, which actually makes things look smaller because you're moving that outline to the inside. And then, of course, there is centered, and so it's going to be kind of the middle between the two. So you guys can go ahead and play with that. You can change the thickness, you can change the color, and you've got the little eyedropper just like with any other color selection, so you can change those around too. All right, so now that we've got our uh, text and our new mask shapes down, let's go back to our editor timeline. We're going to go back to our media panel, and they've actually changed some things with the import button. If we're going to go ahead and click our little arrow, um, and let's go ahead and import an image sequence. So once you have located the image sequence that you would like to import, it could be a file full of different types of images that you want to import as an image sequence, or you can, um, you know, import an already exported image sequence already. But the neat thing about this is you can do this now from the import window or from the import button. And let's go ahead and open this up. This is just the um, Misfit Studios animation rendered in a series of PNG images. So an image sequence. If you actually go ahead and highlight one of those images and click open, um, what it's going to do is HitFilm is going to automatically detect that that image is in a series of images that needs to go with it. So it's actually already imported the entire file with the entire animation. And you can do that with any sort of image sequence you want. So if we go ahead and play this, of course, the, the, uh, the frame rate is going to be rather low because it's an image sequence and not an actual video. And it will actually play through that just like 
a video or an image sequence. You don't have to, you know, select an entire folder and drag the folder in or drag individual images in. You can just click one that's inside there and it'll bring everything with it. It's really neat if you guys do a lot of um, image sequence stuff. So now that we've got something on our timeline, there's another thing that I want to take a look at and show you guys is actually the paste button. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this just a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click and then copy. And then next to that, we're going to go ahead and right click again and we're going to go paste. What it's then going to do, this is something brand new, of course, they're going to give you three different options. Do you want to overlay this, which is actually going to slice into images that it's um, conflicting with? Do you want to insert it, which will actually offset all of your other clips that you have on your timeline and insert into an area, typically the front? Or do you want to create a new track? It will create a new track um, above it and add it there. We're going to go ahead and click insert. And as you can see, it's actually pushed our first image or our first image sequence in this case. You can do this with any type of media that you can drag and drop into your editor. Um, everything forward. So if we've got, you know, a couple of these, let's go ahead and um, paste a few of these in. So now that we've got four of these, we're actually going to take our white plane, drag it to the front, and right click on that. We're going to say copy right click again and paste and we want to insert that it will push it towards the very front of your timeline shove everything to the right and it will actually line things up for you that way you're not having to um, clip and cut things differently to try and fit them in somewhere so if you're adding images in an image sequence and that's something that you want to build that tool is going to be awesome for you and as you can see if you right click um, control v will paste and control c will copy if you guys are running on a windows computer now I think hopefully you guys notice when I use the drag bar to zoom in and out on the editor timeline, they have really reworked. This is some of one of those little things that they've kind of done with HitFilm 15. Um, Pro, the Pro version has the exact same feature in it. Is if you drag this little slider, I, I, you, if you guys noticed before, it was you know the sensitivity on that slider was kind of out of sight. It was really really sensitive and it really zoomed in quickly and there was really no finesse with it. Now, if you actually grab this, you have a lot more control when you're zooming in. And so let's say you've got, you know, a one or two hour video that you're actually trying to find a certain selection in. So you can drag your slider to wherever you want to zoom in. And just remember, anytime that you zoom into a timeline, um, wherever that slider is at, that is going to be where it zooms in. It's going to center on that. So if we slide this in, you can see that, it, you know, those clips disappeared because we're zooming in on that playhead. All right, and the very last thing that I want to share with you guys, it's actually kind of neat. They've actually changed one of the presets, or they added one of the presets in the export presets, okay? So what we can do now is let's go ahead and import something with some audio. Go ahead and drag and drop the full animation for the Misfit Studios intro, and if we play through that, you can, of course, hear there's an audio in the background. Well, instead of going through and stripping that off and trying to export that, um, it's kind of a pain in the previous version of HitFilm. So what we can do now is we actually highlight that. You don't have to strip the video off. Come over here to export. We're going to add that to Q and then contents. And of course, in HitFilm Express, it's going to add another window. In HitFilm Pro, it will actually take you to a different window within HitFilm Pro as opposed to just adding a window that you can move around. So we're actually going to float this container. That way we can pull it and um, change a few things about it. That way we can see it a little bit better. So now that we've got our, we haven't named it, so of course it's going to default as editor. We're going to go over here to our presets, and it is currently on YouTube 1080p. And if you look up here, this PCM audio only is actually a WAV file. And so this is an audio only file. If you go ahead and click that, we're going to go ahead and start exporting. And that's going to export rather quickly because it's, it's not very long. Of course, it's already done. What we're going to now do is we can close the export window. We're going to bring up wherever you've got your exports for HitFilm Express. And there is our WAV file. If we go ahead and bring that in, as you can see, it is just the waveform. And it is just the audio. So if you guys want to export just the audio of a... Um, an entire sequence of things that you guys have edited and add some sound effects and you want it to have two different files being the one to be the full audio and one to be the video you can definitely do that now with hitfilm express thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching gorhamian here with misfit studios as always and we will see you guys next time